Alright, so what's going on? Well, as you can kind of tell, we have started to take out the engine from my other car, which is my R32. So we can get it ready and actually just throw it in there for S14 real quick. So then we can start prepping the last little bit of stuff to get the S14 ready to go. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. So we're going to start taking off all the stuff on top, intercooler, radiator, the wiring harness, get the downpipe and exhaust off, get the shifter off, get the fuel lines off, get the oil cooler lines off, and then hopefully just get it out of here. As soon as we do that, I'm probably just going to like see what else I need to take from the car to make the S14 running which I am going to more than likely take um, the power steering lines. And yeah, that's about it. I think I'm just gonna steal the power steering lines from this car. And then that's it, I believe, to be honest. So I just, really, I'm just trying to take out this engine and transmission combo exhaust only to about the downpipe. I have the rest of it. If not, I'm gonna try to make something for the rest of it. Um, I'm trying to think. And we got the intercooler in that car. Intercooler setup. I had gotten an intercooler from Tyler, just the core, and kind of have it mocked in there. But the one in this car is way thicker, and I might still just go back to using this one and keep using this one, just because it's, I think it's a four inch core. And it's um, like about that big. You can see it right here. So it's just really thick, but really small. And so then, whenever I do like a sort of mid mount like that, the, ra the um the radiator still has plenty of air to hit it, and obviously there's still enough even room for me to have a uh, oil cooler. Um, you know, obviously cooling the oil. And there's still enough for me room for the radiator to get air, not something bigger than the radiator to block it. Then the one in the car. <laughs> I think the one in the car right now is um or the one in the S14 is a little bit um taller and skinnier. So it might be just better to go back to using this one. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. And the what to call it? The S14 also has a Koyo and flow like this dude on it already. So I don't necessarily have to steal this one, but I'll just have a spare. So more than likely I'm just taking most of this, using all this, making the S14 nice, and then I'm gonna build the spare engine that's over there for this car. Or I'm my, honestly I might even I kind of thought of a crazy idea to not even go um, K series next year and go V, but I don't know. I'm just crazy. So, yeah.
we're gonna continue to try to take this off. While we're trying to take this off, we're trying to train Chashu to stay. So we kind of have him over there. So you might hear me say sit, stay a lot, just so he can learn. Okay. <laughs> but, All right. Yeah, so we're gonna keep doing that. Sandra's gonna keep trying to help me along the way with whatever she can. Sandra's struggling over here because I'm trying to not help. Wait, wait, just kidding. Wait, 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 just wait. You said that. I said wait. All right, go ahead, pull your way. All right. Keep going a little bit. Keep going a little bit. All right. Yay. Your hands. Your hands are just as dirty. <laughs> so now we got this thing out of here. Hooray! You can see how dirty this car is. And there is some stuff that I have to steal from this car. I gotta steal the wide band kit from it. I already took the hard line to the power steering I just left it to the car or the high pressure line I left it on the engine so I gotta steal the fitting um yeah after that I gotta steal that for my power switch solenoid pretty much like a kill switch solenoid I gotta steal that dude um trying to remember what else I gotta steal it's a couple other things I need to take from this car oh yeah this fuel pressure regulator my um uh, forgot what that thing is called and sorry flex fuel sensor so these two things have to be stolen and that stuff has to go on my chassis on my s14 um this map sensor can stay here because the car is now going to have a map sensor that's built into the ecu that's yeah i can't think of anything else as of right now that i need to you know commandeer from this vehicle this is all i see for now you know figure that out oh yeah yeah obviously still this the bracket and mine's to my old cooler i got the radiator the inner cooler oil cooler blow valve and air cooler piping. 
a lot of the stuff's probably gonna get changed up. I'll probably make some out of some scraps that are hopefully I it would be really cool if I can get if I can make a pretty one, but we'll see. Probably have no time for that. Chi Chi agrees. So yeah, now to try to clean some up, get all my tools from this thing, get this maybe kind of ready, but to be honest, not really. I'm more than likely just gonna leave it as is. I think the only thing I'm gonna make sure is take this off, cause I'm gonna go to uh, like an OEM style one. Cause this one always comes loose and does weird things. I don't like that. Um, the Nismo mounts are still good. The engine's still clean. Still looks fine. Um, I gotta loop these dudes right here because I'm not gonna run, obviously, a heater core in last 14. I mean, at least not right now. I might take off the manifold and give it a look over because it's probably cracked somewhere. This one's super beat up. It's super been welded a million times. So it always ends up with some little cracks. But the turbo looks good. Everything else looks good. Yeah, I don't know. Really, I have a freaking Max Force tensioner somewhere. Cause I put one on and took it off and put it on and took it off. Cause a whole bunch of weird stuff happened to the car and it freaked me out. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, well, we got this thing in here. So I'm gonna start taking the bumper off. Um, I'm gonna try to take this crash front crash bar thing off and start removing everything so we can just quickly drop this in here. Just for now, to be honest, just so we can go home and then the engine can be in there and during the week I can start addressing the mechanical things that need to happen for that thing to go into this car, like intercooler, um, old cooler. I gotta mount this thing somewhere over there. Gotta mount the fuel pressure regulator somewhere over there. So like, you know, kind of get a general idea of where everything's gonna go, just so I can have it set in there, mechanically done and ready to just be out again. And I can paint the engine bay and blah, 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 blah. But trying to get all that done so that can be done this week or during this week if i can get all of it done and let's say in theory the car can maybe turn on next week and the only thing maybe not turn on is um or the only thing holding it from turning on is wiring it which is i know it's gonna take a while but if that's the only thing stopping me like fuel and all the little crap is done we'll be ahead of the time because it will just be done paint wire star tune and probably just go drive it for the first time ever, which is gonna be also very interesting. All right, guys, so we got an engine in the car. Um, it was relatively not that hard because of this thing, but still pretty hard to get it in. Now, next thing we got to do is probably throw on a quick trans mount. Tighten the engine mounts, tighten a couple mounts here and there. I'm going to check, make sure nothing's hidden anywhere. Kind of seems like it's just floating around right now. the wheel
So continue the little efforts. Intercooler pop in, I guess this way. It's gonna be really simple to be honest. 190, 290. It's hard to see. There's a little black one here. Okay, yeah, I'll probably just do straight across. I clock this a little bit, so that's just hanging straight. And I could just have a pipe going straight across. Oh, but then I'm gonna have to do like a little boop. So, cool. That makes that easy, and then I could just have. Set the filter right here. Oh, but we really can't see like that. We have to see this one like this one. Oh, I'm gonna need radiator hoses. <laughs> so I'm gonna need new ram hoses because I had all this for, for my other thing. Yeah. It's bothering me. I can still set filter right here. I don't know if I can use this, but I mean that might even work if I just cut that more. And then just straight like that. Then the inner cooler pop in coming. Down. Um, I wonder if the one I have right now works. It's probably gonna work because it's perfect. I don't even have to make one for this side, to be honest. If I don't make one for this side because it works, that means the other side's the same. like this. But now it's too high. Uh, hmm. Kinda looks like that. Or do that, but I'm just gonna try to make something hopefully. But it looks like some sort of and 90 would pull in your line. And then I could do another probably like a 45. And 45. We'll get that done probably. Another long night at the shop, but got the nice little brackets kind of banked up. I'm done. Get the cooler is going. Done. Get this all welded up. So then I could just have, like I said, one coupler right there. 
this coupler, one coupler right here, back coupler, so four couplers, so it's easier to move these two. So I've been doing like two. So it's just easier to move them in my section. Also welded the old cooler. Made a little bracket. And we welded that to the bottom. Part of this. I have my bracket. So I'm gonna throw that back on and see how it looks with that on. And then another freaking long night, but I got the exhaust mocked up packed up and now I'm with the welded. That's the original down part in the R32. And I made a section. I cut up the exhaust right there. Brought this over here because I didn't have a cat. I just made this little section. A couple of pie cuts, a couple of things. But it's crushed up in there. It's pretty high. It's pretty good. So, I'm gonna take this off. Yay, roll it up exhaust. Now we're gonna throw this bitch on. Hold on, try to figure out old cooler stuff. Yay, I'm gonna throw this one on. All right, all right, all right. So another long Friday. I'm so sorry that I have not been recording any of this, but I've just been working at everything just to get it done. So yeah, and it's kind of just been me. Sandra's here this weekend though. It's after work, it's pretty late already. But we've been here for a while. Um, and I pretty much finished, I think, what I have everything to do mechanically to my SR to work. It's got an exhaust, it's got intercooler piping, and you get a coupler, but that's welded to this side, to this side, to that direction, and to that guy. And from that guy, it goes down. I made a little test pipe. I think I recorded some of that, at least maybe the end. And then you obviously have these big old blast pipes, four inch Johnny's. Um, yeah, the car is completely gutted because we have our good friends Armin and Lindsay that you guys have seen in the videos before and you guys probably will see with us all the time. And these are people that if it wasn't for them helping out, to be honest, I probably not gonna get this done. And yeah, so they actually have all my arrow and they're sanding it down for me which is fucking amazing, I mean, amazing. So, yeah. Um, it needs, this car needs to be Santa next, but me and Sandra can probably try to do that tomorrow with the DA. We really need to get inside and in the engine bay, wired wheel. But I needed to finish, like I said, the exhaust, intercooler, and the oil cooler. Oil cooler right there. Come from here. This way. To right here. I made a little bracket. Let's see if it gets a light. I made a little bracket. Bracket bolts to the body. We got this thing right here. So yeah, and then from this way, it goes into the Tome oil block adapter. I don't know if you can see it in there. Let me see. It goes to that. So then that right there finished my old filter and cooler situation. The lines are in. The next step that I'm gonna try to do, I don't know if I'm gonna do today, but maybe tomorrow is I'm gonna try to weld a little copper plate around this. So this little guy is kind of protected and if, you know, anything big is to get launched up, maybe, you know, get stopped by that. But, yeah. 
hopefully nothing crazy happens because I had that be in there. At least that's my hope. And after that, I went and started with the fuel lines. So we got the fuel filter coming from the tank. And then it goes and feeds the rail. Uh, they're supposed to be 1200 cc's, but apparently they last time they tested at 900 or something like that, so like 980 or something, I think. So, yep, so these are really a thousands. Um, and then it returns over here, goes into the AM fuel pressure regulator, and then that goes to the GM flex fuel sensor, and from there it goes to the uh, it would go to the search tank actually, so it, it this gets fed Which is this funny looking fella right here that I made so inside of here it's a 450 Walbro and It will feed the engine return to this from this go to the stock tank and then the 10 stock tank is gonna feed this little guy so just kind of simple, cheap, um, yeah, search setup that you could just kind of build yourself if you need to, which is at least what I try to do. I still need to figure out how to get power inside of here, but I think I have. Another thing we have to do is cut this up right here. As you can tell, I am into my tire and I'm going to have to cut up and around. I need to do that soon, so I'll try to probably do that tomorrow. So tomorrow we kind of have not much, but relatively a good bit to do. Um, that needs to come out. I still need actually power steering set up, but if I have to, I'm just gonna, well, I already stole the hard line from the, oh my goodness, here comes the crazy guy. Teacher wild, dude. But yeah, stole the stuff from the R32. I just need to run. I need to get a cooler, run a line from there, probably up here into a cooler, and one that way over there into the reservoir. At least that's what I'm gonna do. So I need to just get that done. All right, that was a chow shoe minute. So let's go back to this. And yeah, there was a couple little things. I finished doing that hole. I still need to do a throttle cable. Holy crap, I forgot about that. I need to drill, but I guess I could do that towards, towards the end. Drill the hole and try to somehow mount the cable that I have. Yeah, I need to do that. Running out of time, but we're trying to push as hard as we can. Having most of this done is awesome. I don't have a blow valve on this, and I don't have an um, air temp sensor, which I really need to do. The blow valve is not that much of a big deal, but the air temp sensor is. That really needs to be on there, so I need to figure that out. Um, but at the same time, I was gonna do a blow valve. Like, why not? I might still have enough room to be able to fit it right here, and I really hope so, it'll be cool. So, we'll see what I can do. But, I mean, that, right there can be done after the car is painted so i'm not concerned i just need to make sure i do whatever i can to start this body work on this as soon as possible which i'm hoping is tomorrow
And by body work, I mean sanding everything now. That's all I'm doing. I'm not trying to do perfect doors. They look fine. I mean, I might try to hit the roof a little bit extra, but. I might try to do the roof, but to be honest, at this point, it kind of is what it is. I just, I don't have too much time for that, but I need to kind of address the important stuff, which I have most, if not, I believe now, all the big fabrication out the way. Um, anything else after here is little stuff that I'm probably forgetting to do that I need to do, but.